Welcome back to Flappy Bird. In this video we will be focusing entirely on the Flappy Sprite and we will make it fly and fall to the ground using realistic gravity. So I'm going to teach you a few more programming tricks in this lecture. Now I have here the completed Flappy Bird project and I want you to notice something. And I'm going to play with this game a little bit. So Flappy falls and flies, but notice that it never moves sideways. It always stays on the same vertical line. So we are going to make Flappy move only vertically and we'll let the ground sprite that we programmed in the last video create the illusion of motion. So let me get back to the project. And the first thing that I will make Flappy do is bring it towards right over here on the screen, make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to bring in the events when flat clicked. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to go to motion and bring in this go to X and Y. I'm going to make X negative 80 and Y zero. So we want Flappy to be at the center of the stage from a vertical standpoint. Okay, and I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to make Flappy set size to 50%. Okay, so that when the flag is clicked, Flappy is right over here on the screen. Now, let's talk a little bit about what falling and flying means with gravity. So I'm going to stop the project and I'm going to bring Flappy here on a more visible part of the stage. So let me do the following. I'm going to go to control and I'm going to bring in a forever block and from motion, I'm going to change Y by a negative value, say negative one. What does this do? Changing Y by a negative value, you saw from the Pong project, it moves Flappy down. If I do this forever, if I click on this block, notice what's happening. Flappy is floating towards the ground. But that doesn't actually mean it's falling. We need Flappy to accelerate on the ground. So we need Flappy to move downwards in increasing amounts. So for that, we will create a simple variable that will specify the amount by which Flappy has to fall at any one time. And we will change this variable as the program goes along. So I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to click make a variable. And I'm going to make this private to Flappy. So I'm going to check for the sprite only. And the variable name, I'm going to make it vertical speed, like this. Now, I'm going to set vertical speed to negative one. And instead of changing the Y by negative one, I'm going to change it by vertical speed. So at this point, nothing's actually different. If I click the snippet, Notice that Flappy is floating towards the ground as we did a couple of minutes ago. But notice what I'm doing now. I'm going to add this little orange block, change vertical speed by negative one. So I'm going to make vertical speed even more negative at every iteration of the forever loop. And I'm going to add a little waiting block just for you guys to see this in slow motion. So I'm going to add 0.5 seconds to wait. So notice what's happening. I'm going to start flapping in this position. And if I click the snippet, the vertical speed will start at negative one. The Y coordinate will change by negative one. So it will move flappy slightly downwards, but it will change vertical speed by negative one, which will make it negative two the next time around. And after half a second, the Y coordinate will be changed instead of negative one, it will be changed by negative two and vertical speed will be even more negative. It will become negative three the next time around. So if I click the snippet now, notice what's happening. Flappy falls, but it falls in increasing amounts. So it falls ever harder with every iteration in the forever loop. And if I remove this waiting block, notice the effect. Flappy falls to the ground instead of floating a minute ago. So in this snippet, we are accelerating Flappy towards the ground. And this negative one, the amount by which we change the vertical speed is known as the gravity. 
So I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to make a variable known as gravity. This time I will leave the checkbox for all the sprites. Okay, now instead of this change vertical speed by negative one, I'm going to bring in the set block and I'm going to set the vertical speed to vertical speed minus gravity. So I'm going to go to operators and I'm going to bring in the difference block. I'm going to go to variables again and I'm going to pull in vertical speed and gravity. So this set block has the same effect as this change vertical speed by negative one. And initially I will set gravity to be a positive value like one. So setting gravity to one will accelerate Flappy in increments of one. If we set gravity to an even bigger value, Flappy will accelerate even harder towards the ground. So if I click this snippet now, setting the gravity to one, and this complex snippet that I have here, Flappy falls to the ground. That's fine. But if I set gravity to a bigger value, say two, and click on it, if I click this complex snippet again, Flappy falls even harder. See? So I'm going to set gravity to 1 because that's hard enough. And I'm going to set the initial vertical speed to 0 because the gravity will take care to accelerate Flappy towards the ground for me. So when the flag is clicked, I'm going to set the gravity to 1. It will go to this position on the screen and it will look 50% smaller than it normally does and then it will set its vertical speed to zero and forever it will change y by vertical speed and it will accelerate towards the ground by setting the vertical speed to a more negative value. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So if I hit the flag now, Flappy will naturally fall towards the ground. Now there's one more thing that I would like to show you. So vertical speed equals zero means letting go of Flappy to fall to the ground. But what if vertical speed is a positive value, like seven? So if Flappy starts with a positive vertical speed, initially it will change Y by that vertical speed, which means it will go up instead of going down. But gravity will decrease vertical speed and Flappy will stop going up and start going down again. So if I set vertical speed to seven, Notice what's happening when I hit the flag. It will jump up a little bit. See? Let me change vertical speed to an even bigger value to see the effect, like 10. See? Flappy is jumping. So this is what we aim to do. When we hit the space bar or the mouse button as Flappy is in the air, we will set its vertical speed to a positive value like 10 and leave gravity to do the trick of accelerating Flappy towards the ground. Now remember, Flappy is only able to jump after we've clicked the start button. So Flappy will need to react to the message broadcast by the start button, which is start game. So going back to Flappy, we will need all this code to be attached to a script starting with when I receive the start game event. So I'm going to go to events and I'm going to bring in when I receive start game, which is the message that the start button will broadcast. So I will attach this script to when I receive start game and I will set vertical speed back to zero and I will take care to change this vertical speed and set it to a positive value when I hit the space bar or the mouse button. So now the game looks like this. If I hit the flag, Flappy stays here in its original position, and after I hit the start button, Flappy will start falling towards the ground. Now let's implement the user's input by hitting the mouse or the space bar. So inside this forever loop, we're going to add a check if the mouse is down or if the key space is pressed so that we can set the vertical speed to a positive value like we saw a minute ago. So I'm going to go to control and I'm going to bring in the if block and I'm going to bring in the or operator from the operators section. And then I'm going to go to sensing and in the first space, I'm going to bring in mouse down 
and in the other one, I'm going to have key space pressed. So if the mouse is down or key space pressed, all we need to do is set the vertical speed to a positive value. And I'm going to set it to seven. And I'm going to make this if block the first thing in the forever loop. So now when I start the game and I hit the start button, Flappy is able to jump and be accelerated towards the ground. This is awesome. Flappy can fly. Let's add some small cosmetic things to make Flappy look like it's flying. So I'm going to go to sound and make Flappy start the sound. Instead of SFX hit, I'm going to have SFX wing. All right. And I'm going to make Flappy change its direction a little bit when it's jumping or when it's falling towards the ground. So I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to bring in point and direction. And in this space, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to say 90 minus, and this will depend on the vertical speed. If the vertical speed is positive, then the direction needs to be a little pointed upwards. So I'm going to pull in this multiplication operator and I'm going to say two times. And in the third space here, I'm going to put in the vertical speed. So if the vertical speed is positive, Flappy will point upwards. If the vertical speed is negative, Flappy will point downwards. So if I hit the flag now and I hit the start button, Flappy will start making these sounds and it will be pointing upwards or downwards depending on in which direction it's flying. See? So Flappy is actually flying. All right, so we learned about gravity in this video and we made Flappy fly. Join me in the next video as there are more things we need to program on the Flappy Sprite.